my only child, Justin, ever wanted to be was a ranger. Before he went in the army, he used to wrap himself in plastic and run around the neighborhood at night to sweat off the few extra pounds he needed to qualify for basic. I bought him a ranger t-shirt and he wore it everywhere. I don't mind you going in, but I wish it wasn't wartime, I told him. And he laughed and said, Ma, you should have had more kids. He was so proud of being an infantryman, so excited to be a part of the famous 10th Mountain Division going to Afghanistan. After he got there in March, he emailed me, Ma, the Afghan people are cool. I'm going to bring you a teapot. He had plans to go to UCLA and study acting after he got out. I'm the man with the plan, he said. You certainly are, I said. My only child, just 19 years old. Justin was about three months in and things seemed okay. Right before a mission, he even managed to call a friend to wish him happy birthday. But a few days later, that knock came to my door. Two men in uniform told me that Justin's unit had encountered the enemy. They called in a mortar attack and he was killed. When he deployed, I knew he was putting his life on the line and I was hoping and praying nothing would happen. When it did, well, no one wants to have their child to bury their child. I just got numb inside, disbelief for a long time. I stayed busy, I stayed distracted so I didn't have to go to that place in my heart. I still visit Justin at Arlington four or five times a week, but even now, sometimes the pain is so great, I don't think I can bear it. It's like a stone weighing down my soul. His voice echoes through my very being every day I'm alive. What helps me cope is seeing the other families. We offer each other encouragement, support, strength. We, we hug each other, we cry together. It's going to be a lifelong journey for all of us. We're with our children in the snow, the rain. Our lives are here in this ground now. We're a family. None of us wanted to be here, but we are and we're going to take care of our kids like they sacrificed for us. I could have cried and begged Justin not to go, and he probably wouldn't have because he loved his mom. But then he would have been miserable, and I would have been miserable because I would have known I was making him miserable. I know he died doing what he loved, and if he had to die, he would have been honored to have been laid to rest here at Arlington.